Morning, Larry Sprinkle here on Facebook Live. The very latest on powerful Hurricane Michael winds sustained 140 miles per hour. This is 145 miles per hour. This is a storm system that's about 90 miles right now southwest of Panama City, Florida. There's the eye of the storm right there. Tracking in that general direction, you can see the counterclockwise circulation, the powerful storms there around the eye. Some of those feeder bands tracking across the uh, entire area from Apalachicola to Panama City, all the way over towards Destin and that area of Florida. Here's the latest winds 145 gusting to 165 miles per hour. It's moving north, due north at about 13 miles per hour. So landfall could be as we get towards the early afternoon around 2 o'clock today, somewhere close to Panama City, somewhere within that area. That's around 2 o'clock today as a Category 4 hurricane then moves off to the northeast. This is uh, tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning, about 2 a.m. Still a hurricane just to the southeast of Atlanta, Georgia, then tracks off uh, tomorrow afternoon around 2 o'clock just to the southeast of Charlotte as a tropical storm with those winds up around 45 miles per hour at that time. And notice the cone of uncertainty does take it over towards Charlotte. Could we be in that situation where there's a potential for tropical storm force winds here? That's certainly a possibility. And then some of the other models may take it a little bit more towards the Myrtle Beach area. Then it tracks off northeast near Raleigh, then heads out into the Atlantic Ocean early on Friday morning. But it's the next 24 hours that we have major concern in our area. Concern about flooding. There's a flood watch in effect for the entire area all the way through early on Friday morning. That, that covers every single county in our area. In addition to that, that tropical storm warning has been expanded to include a great deal of our area. That includes Lancaster County, the Panhandle area there on Indian land just south of Ballantyne. It also includes all of Lancaster County, Chesterfield County, Kershaw County, Marlboro County. Those are all in the tropical storm warning. Tropical storm watch includes Union County, North Carolina, Chester County, also over towards Union County. Uh, you got Union County, North Carolina, over towards Wadesboro and Rockingham, that entire area. That is a tropical storm watch. Potential for conditions to even change right there. As far as the potential for tropical storm force winds in our area, there's about a 36, maybe 40 percent chance here in Charlotte. But you go just south of here, you can see 85 percent chance you're going to see that in Augusta, Columbia, a decent chance. So it's that area, that corridor just to the southeast of Charlotte, they could see some very strong tropical storm force winds. The main issue that we're going to be dealing with tomorrow will be the amount of rainfall that we get in that uh, short frame of time, especially tomorrow afternoon, anywhere from about uh, noon until around four o'clock. Very heavy, possibly flooding rains up to four inches possible in the Charlotte metro area. East and southeast of here, a band of showers could include maybe areas from around Chesterfield County up towards Wadesboro, Rockingham, four to seven inches of rain. There are areas that certainly don't need it. Impact time frame. High winds, especially afternoon tomorrow. We're going to see those very gusty winds up to maybe 40 miles per hour right through tomorrow evening. And with that, you have the saturated soil. The winds out there could cause some power outages with trees, power lines going down at that time. Tornado threat, there's an isolated chance of that flash flood. Yes, with the, all the rain that we're going to get and, and the rain that we've had today, you put the two together, the potential for that, especially anywhere from noon until about 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Something we'll certainly keep an eye on. Our forecast, here's that 7-day forecast for you. Today, upper 70s. The rain today is that storm system off the Atlantic Ocean for tomorrow. It's all from the hurricane. Tropical storm force winds possible here with high temperature in the upper 70s. 100% chance of heavy rain. Friday should be okay. The good news about this upcoming weekend, it'll be fall-like with high temperatures in the low 70s with lows in the morning in the low 50s. We'll keep you updated throughout the day and of course the very latest coming up at 12 noon on NBC Charlotte. Have a good day.